The last game Mark Ingram played as a Saint was the controversial NFC Championship game loss to the Rams. And even though he's in Baltimore now, he's still thinking about that missed call that cost New Orleans a trip to the Super Bowl. Ingram was asked about the play and said this, that is something that no one on our team, no one in our organization will ever get over. Obviously, they changed the rules so they know they got it wrong. Some players play 14, 15 years without making it to a playoff game. So to be able to make it to that point, a minute and some change left. And if you get this call, you've got a fresh set of downs and you're going to the Super Bowl. It was sickening. Every time I see the play, it's a bad feeling. It's a dark cloud over me. Shannon, uh, does he mm. have a point? He does to a certain extent, Skip, because you don't realize, as you said, there are guys that play an extended period of time mm. and they never get an opportunity sure. to play in the playoffs. Um, you don't know how many opportunities, more opportunities you're going to have. At least Drew Brees can say, you know, I did get to a Super Bowl. I won it. I was a Super Bowl MVP. But Drew, people don't understand this. Drew is only a year behind Tom Brady. Drew is in his 19th season. Mm -hmm. He has less time than more time. Skip, I, I, I think for me, and I can, I, and I know what Mark Ingram is talking about. Skip, for me, we were 13-3 and three in 96, and we lost to the Jags, who had, had been an expansion team for only a year. They just came into the league in 95. So they only been playing football for a year before they upset us in the divisional round. Um, and I remember after the game, it took a bit, uh, me and T.D. Terrell Davis were sitting on the sideline, and eventually I just say, let's go, pro. And when it was my turn to speak, I said, I believe we set the organization back 10 years. Now, Skip, even though I was very fortunate, after that, we won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. I go to Baltimore, and I win another one. But do you know I still think more about the loss to Jacksonville than I do the three wins? I believe I that because I hear it in your voice on this show often. I do. Yeah. Wow. I can just imagine. Mark Brunel. Mark Brunel. Jimmy, Jimmy Smith, Keenan McCardell, mm -hmm. and Natron Means ran wild over us. Skip, it's almost a very similar situation to what we saw in Seattle. Now, the difference is Seattle was a team that had internal conflict. They were a team within a team because mm -hmm. they had an offensive team and they had a defensive team. That is true. And the defense <clears throat> felt that they were responsible, most responsible, for the success. The defensive players rallied more around beast mode, Marshawn Lynch, than they did the quarterback. Yeah. And so when Pete Carroll allowed Daryl Bevel to call that play, it ripped the fabric away from that, and everything just fell out. They were never going to be the same again. Mm -hmm. In this situation, that was self-inflicted because Pete Carroll didn't have to allow that. Daryl Bever didn't have to call that play. This was out of, I don't believe anyone has lost faith in <clears throat> Sean Payton. Mm -hmm. I believe they still believe he's as good, if not the best offensive play caller in all the game. He might get some, he might get some pushback. I mean, hey, uh, Josh McDaniels is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But to, to serve the role that Sean Payton does, head coach and call plays, yep. there might not be very many better than what he does right now. Mm. So I don't believe they've lost faith, faith in him. But I can just imagine being there and knowing what it's like to be so close. You're like, this is our year. Let's keep you home. You have been so good at home all year. And like he said, you're a minute and some change away. You get that call, you can just take a knee. Take a knee. Day out of timeout. Rams had one left. Okay, yep. so you take one knee, mm -hmm. then take another knee, yep. take another knee, kick mm -hmm. a field goal, and boom, we going home. Mm -hmm. We going to the Super Bowl. Yep. So I can see why he said there are some people, especially because I, I can I, I know for a fact for me, had we not gone to and won Super Bowls, I would have never, never, ever, ever. But I still think about that, even though I was very fortunate to win three after that loss, Skip. I still think about that more than the others. Mm -hmm. mm. But quick point of order, when you lost to Jacksonville, you didn't get robbed. No, 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 you no. You got no. beat. We got beat. Okay. We got beat. <sighs> quick point of order about Mark Ingram, who now plays for the Baltimore Ravens. Mm -hmm. He referred to our team, our organization. organization. <clears throat> no, not anymore. <laughs> That's not your team. And I don't know if operating subliminally for Mark Ingram were some sour grapes going on because they rejected Mark Ingram. Right. He wanted to stay. He hoped that they would top. The four million. He's another running back, right. devalued. He was making four million for the Saints. He wanted a little bit more. They said, "We will not budge off four. He was a free agent. He goes to Baltimore, and they say five. So he got five million to play for the Ravens. Right. God bless. But some sour grapes because they basically said no to him. 
Well, right? but, well, we saw Reggie Bush talk about that, Skip. What they have in, in New Orleans is a platoon system. You're not going to be the bell cow back, so they're not going to give you top running back money. They're not going to even give you Devontae Freeman. People are like, Devontae Freeman got $8 million, but he was splitting, splitting carries with Kevin Coleman. Well, if you're splitting carries with Alvin Kamara, carries with Alvin mm -hmm. Kamara mm -hmm. and he's getting 80, 90 catches a season, plus another 150 rushes, they can't give you Zeke or Le'Veon Bell or Tar Gurley's type money mm -hmm. because you're not going to be able to get that kind of production with the, as few carries and opportunities you're going to get. Okay. So I brought up this play before, but we're going way back to a Houston Oilers team against the Pittsburgh Steelers at Mike Pittsburgh Renfro. 1979 playoff game to get to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Mike Renfro, a little receiver I got to know when he came to the Cowboys late in his career. He toe, -tap. tap, toe taps, and he got his feet down. Yeah. There's no replay. Oh, no, you didn't get the call, and they crumbled the next year because they were still a really good football team, and they lost. They, they made the plus, lost a wild card game to the Raiders, and the great Bum Phillips got fired after the next year and went on to the Saints. Saints. Bro, so Earl Whitty. He sure did. Snake Stabler went. <laughs> yep. Okay, the problem was that that team couldn't quite lift itself right. back up. This is just a gut feeling I have. I believe that the crime of this century, and that happened last <laughs> year at New Orleans, that was the crime of this century, the all-time robbery. I believe it will not wreck the Saints. I believe it will lift the Saints okay. this year. You do. Depending on it, remember, we made our early Super Bowl yes. picks, but you said last week we reserved the yeah. right to change. Yep. I picked Dallas. Pending the Zeke outcome, right. I reserve the right to pick somebody else, right. depending Fair. on... And they got to gotta hold out themselves. Mike Thomas is holding okay. out. Okay. Well, we'll see how both of those play right. out, because that's a key one, too. Maybe not quite the Zeke, no, but right. it's pretty key. If I don't pick Dallas, I very well might pick the Saints, huh. because I believe they will be on fire, motivated to get even yes. over this. And now there's this weird lawsuit going on in the state oh. of Louisiana. <laughs> They're oh, yeah. trying to depose... Not only Roger Goodell, but three yeah. of the referees from the game. It's like, Skip, what? I mean, what did they expect Roger to say? Well, yeah, we went up there and we told him, say, hey, look, don't pick the flag up. Don't, don't throw a flag. Right. Come on. So it was rigged? Is that what you're going to try Come to on. prove? I, I don't think it was Still rigged. No. I'm sorry. The guys just, just missed it. Okay. They blew it. And you can't sue over that. No. You can't sue over what Jerry always calls human frailty, right. which he likes and you you right. endorse. Well, Skip, too. you remember the, ro yeah. the Royal, what was it, the Royals and the Cardinals? Donnie Durkin's your call. Mm -hmm. Skip, mm -hmm. he blew it. The game was over. Yeah. They lost the World Series. Although, but that was, that was game, game, game six. six. There was still a game seven right. to be played. But Skip, it's over. Okay. It's over. We, we don't even get to a game seven. Yeah, we don't no. need a game seven. Right. No. And so they're like, this is the World Series where they go on to lose. And mm. that obviously it took some years. I mean, the pool host years, they, they won mm -hmm. uh, a World Series since. But it's, Skip, when something like this happens, the first thing you think, it's just not for us. Because we always say, what is meant to be will be. Mm -hmm. Well, when this happens, you're like, well, this just wasn't meant for us. Mm. It just wasn't meant. You're like, what, what do we got to do? We're at home. We're we this away. And it's so obvious. I mean, when you look at, I mean, at the time, I mean, I'm watching it. And I'm like, that's past interference. I didn't even see replay. Mm. And I'm like, what are the officials watching? Mm. But Skip, he, they just froze. Mm. They just froze. So I'm, I'm looking as Gl glass is half full oh, because okay. to your point, you can't blame Sean Payton. No. You can't blame that Drew Brees was allowed to throw it instead of Mark Ingram. Well, a little it bit because he should have threw it on first down. You know what I'm saying, Jenny? Sean Payton did call a pass I on mean, first down. You, that stopped the clock. But didn't Drew yeah, get them there? Different. Didn't that team love Drew Brees? Doesn't it still love? They do. And, and they did have a ball in overtime, too, now. Uh -huh. let's, not, let's not lose sight of that, Jamie. They did uh -huh. have a ball in overtime. The window's getting smaller. Yes. I mean, it's getting, it's about to close, yeah. but I believe they will be all-time on fire, motivated over this. And by the way, it's week two. There's a little Fox there doubleheader. Is. And it's Dallas at Washington uh -huh. first, followed by Saints, Saints at Rams, Rams. Right here on Fox. You want to go uh, to that uh, one? Are you going to the game? Maybe you mm. bring them bail up. You need to go to the Cowboys game, Jenny. You need to go as many <laughs> that Cowboys. Was one time. You I need to go as many Cowboys. Ga you need I will many never forgive that, but yeah. it's okay. I won't be heading to Oxnard anytime soon. No, I'll good. stay away in yeah. case yeah. I have bad luck. I mean, you should go to the games. Uh -huh. Cowboys mm. come. Yeah, yeah you, you'd, you'd love that, wouldn't you? As much as I can. Interesting stuff there. Well, we'll have to see. You said glass half full. Mm-hmm. Okay. What kind of glass is it? It all depends. What kind of glass is it? Is it a shot glass or is it a big gulp? <laughs> Curious uh, what you
what you'll say about this one, Skip. Mm -hmm. Who's the most important, Cowboy, Dak, or Zeke? Oh, Michael, Michael Vick. Vick. Here we go. Give his take next. <laughs>